Hello everyone and welcome to how to make sky levels. And what we mean by sky levels is we have the default set up here for the sky atmosphere system and you get this horizon line across the atmosphere system as if like you're on level ground. But what if we want to have a level up there? Well, what's the easiest way of doing that? So the easiest way of doing it is by going, first of all, disabling your exponential height fog. You don't want to be using this because it's going to um, basically uh, add a horizon for you, which you don't really want. Okay, so you're going to turn that off. We are then going to go to our sky atmosphere and you're going to search for the transform setting and you're going to change the transform mode from planet top at absolute world origin to planet top at component transform. What this does is it's going to tell us be uh, where the sky atmosphere is located inside our world now previously by default it's set to be the world origin but if we change it to the component transform basically i can change the location of the sky atmosphere component and it'll affect the sky so if i go into my z here and put in a large negative value and it does have to be large because the sky atmosphere is very large so we do minus sixty thousand and you'll see it get closer and closer to the bottom. So we're going to go down a bit more. I'm going to do another factor of 10. And there we go. We're back down. And we're now you can see we're starting to be in the clouds. In fact, you can see we're inside of a cloud actually right now. Um, we'll go a bit more down. So that's now 700,000. And you can start seeing that we're more and more in the sky. And there's the earth way down there. Okay, and that is how we get up for closer in the sky. Now you can also do other things in here to manipulate the appearance of your scene. So like changing how the clouds look, for example, and how high they take up. So just go to your volumetric cloud settings and you can change things like the cloud layer. I talk about the layer height. So at the moment it's 10, but if I were to increase that to like 30, it gets a lot thicker. Um, and I'll have to make the exponential uh, the, the sky atmosphere, sorry, go down even more as this thing is a lot larger now. So if I go down to sky atmosphere and change that to be 800,000, uh, still a bit more, 900,000, a bit more. I mean, you may want to be in the clouds, I don't know. Uh, we'll do 100,000. Oh, not 100,000. Uh, what's that? A million. Yeah. There you go. It's looking a bit better. Okay. But my bar means play about the, the cloud settings as well to get different appearances for the clouds you want. So you've got layer height. you also got the altitude from the bottom. You can mess about with that and change the height of that if you want. You can also change the uh, colouring and all that stuff. You can do all sorts of cool things with regards to the clouds to make them look exactly how you want to look. Um, so I'm just going to delete my height fog there and then hit play. And you can see now we are high up in the sky. And that is how you make a sky level. If you like this how-to and want to see more how-tos, head over to my patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can support the channel from just $1 a month and get access to all our videos early before everyone else. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support in the channel. And make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.